Well, good morning, Lion Hearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How y'all doing today? I hope you said great. I woke up early today and decided to make an hour and a half drive to Bakersfield so we could come hang out and do some antique mall shopping. We're gonna start today at one of my favorites, the Woolworths. Yeah, believe it or not, there is still a Woolworth luncheonette here in Bakersfield, we're gonna go in there and they have a really great antique mall in there and then one across the street, we're gonna hit both of them today. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. I've been here once before, but the luncheonette counter was closed up and I really liked it here, so I wanted to come back and check it all out. Plus, you don't get many places that you can have this experience where you feel like you're in Woolworth still. And plus, they still have the really cool front walkway here when you enter. So we're gonna hit the antique mall inside of here, and then we're going, like I said, directly across the street to the merry-go-round antique mall. So they're asking that we enter the side entrance today, and the lunch encounter is right here. How cool is this? I love it. <laughs> How great. Plus, like I said, it's still laid out like an old Woolworth, so pretty cool. Here's a whole display case dedicated to some of the history. But I actually came to do antique shopping today, so we've been here before and looked at all this before. Just kind of felt like stepping back in time today. So I want some of this experience. Let's go get a cup of coffee at the counter here. Isn't that great? They have a full menu here. Mainly what you expect, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, chili dogs, things like that. And of course, don't forget a Coke. Old school style of the girls that take your order still make the food. Look at that, they're grilling up some burgers right now. Soda fountain. Yeah, let's get a cup of coffee. And then once you get done eating and drinking your coffee, you go out there and do some shopping. Ah, great cup of coffee. Now let's get to having some fun. Oh yeah. Anyone need a full on scuba suit? <laughs> I love this, look in the old car, they have some of the old sign letters in this grate. Oh wow, anybody need a taxidermied owl? Or uh, working on your coin collection? Or for you Mickey collectors out there? Look at that, the Mickey Mouse Club. Oh, Sonny and Cher, good times. Look at that, that's kinda cool. That's cool. Dave Clark 5, Coast to Coast. It's crazy to hear Eddie Van Halen say, um, I had heard him say in an interview that Dave Clark 5, other than his father, Dave Clark 5 is what made him want to be a musician. Check out the sailor. Little majorettes. Hey, look at that, they've got a Lucy doll. So the deal with these kind of places is that each little booth is owned by somebody different, but you just bring what you want up to the one main counter and they will uh, ring you up like a big department store, kind of. Oh, that's cool. Eric Singer has one of those in his house. The little butler candy tray. What's up with that big machete in there? <laughs> I just love wandering around these kind of places, especially when you don't have anything specific in mind and you're just kind of looking around for anything that catches your eye. Like in case I decide to take up old style roller skating. Oh, that's neat. That little necktie case. Oh, neat. Old postcards. Look. Ozarks, Hoover Dam over here. Let's check that one out. Yep, no lie. That's the Hoover Dam. Lots of Hawaiian shirts if you're in the mood to uh, change up your style or feel fancy free. $10 John Wayne plate. All kinds of cool stuff, interesting stuff here. All right, as we're passing by the luncheonette again, look, they have another, a different butler. 
candy dish holder or whatever you would do. Hold your keys when you walk in. And those are cool, those cats. See, leather jackets, army jackets, sombreros. I think I'm good on that. Crystal ball, maybe I might need that, we'll see. All kinds of treasures over here. Ooh, check out the carnival glass. Isn't that great? That's collectible. Boy, that takes me back in time seeing stuff like that. All right. I love that they at least take the time to put things out on a display. So you're not looking around at just piles of garbage everywhere. Some places don't care. You'd be surprised. Whoa, look at that. Little riding horse for a baby, it looks like. Oh yeah, Mickey phone. Also, cool thing about this place, pretty much always open. Like 10.30 to five every day. Maybe a little different on Sunday hours, but pretty much, that's it. Oh, that's neat, look at that old Pepsi sign. I mean, it's a sign, but it looks like a gigantic bottle cap. Remington, all right. See what else we have over here. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. The big stuff. Old time telephone. I want to pick that up right now and uh, pull an Andy Griffith. Hello, Sarah? Get me barn down at the station house. What the heck is that? Wow, look at that old style cat cat clock. Holding the trumpet. Yeah, that old can. Oh yeah, we have quite a bit more to see. We haven't even been downstairs yet. I wonder if this old Knott's Berry Farm Bank is a uh, collectible. Kind of seems like it would be, doesn't it? Never seen one like that before. More cowbell. Scientific tests prove Lucky Strike milder than any other principal brand. And then Art Link Letter. Oh, this booth is great. They've got an original Hoosiers poster, which I vlogged that uh, that auditorium. And then look at this, 60 years of big boy. We might have to get one of these fun chickens on the way out. Put your coin in there. Actually, I don't have a quarter. I might create a problem. Is that Lassie I see in there? Looks like it. Look down here, you got these old time John Lennon looking glasses. And then you've got this great Laurel and Hardy flip book. But if you still collect cassettes, they got a ton of them here. A ton of them. I'm with Creepy. <laughs> oh, look at that old Dr. Pepper ad, that's great. Call for Philip Morris. I'm not sure which one I like more. The helmet or the old radio? It's a cool Michael Jackson shirt. If I had a bird, I'd probably want that as my bird cage. <laughs> Hot dogs. You'll relish the flavor. All right, as promised, let's go downstairs. Seen some great stuff already. Oh boy, we have a lot to look through. I do appreciate the themes though. Like I said, I love walking through and seeing that people actually took the time to try and lay out their merchandise they're selling. Hey, there's a whole collection of John Goodman as Fred Flintstone from the movie. And Garfield. Those look like Happy Days. Is that Potsy? I bet that was Potsy in the gang because that looks like Welcome Back Cotter. Those are 30 bucks each. Well, Horshack is 30 and it looks like Vinnie Barbarino is 40. I always look at milk bottles because one time I found a Hulhauser milk bottle and gave it to my friend Adam the Woo for a birthday gift. And I'd like to get one for myself if I can ever find one again. Oh, this section has all kinds of old signs if you're into the old sign collecting. kind of dig that, the Bob Dylan local crew shirt. And who doesn't love a monkey riding a motorcycle? Wow, look at that old sewing machine. That's great. So much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. Wow. Ready for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, another one. You could actually have two of them. I always love matador paintings on black velvet. Big fan of that. 
Wow, this person's booth is great. A little bit of something for everyone. I really like that Charlie Chaplin. Right next to the guitar, that's great. I checked up on Charlie Chaplin, that's 150 for the Charlie sitting in the chair with a cane on the back of it. There, 150 bucks, not bad. Gossip rags. Haven't seen anything here I can't live without yet, but I have a little bit more to look at and then we'll go across the street to the merry-go-round. Oh, that's cool. Sandy Duncan is Peter Pan on Broadway. Wow, look at that whole hutch there. That's really cool, I like the color and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty hideous, and they actually have a an award on here. It says, <laughs> Beyond Ugly Christmas Sweater. Oh, now that's interesting, that Leonard Nimoy, the Spock, $53. It's a decanter, you take his head off and booze can go in there. I have an Elvis one like this. Here's your fork. Little vintage Mickey there. Wow, look at that wacky button. The man who didn't. Look at that quartz sight belt buckle. Silver slipper ashtray. That's kind of cool. There we've got Betty Boop. Plural. Two Betty Boops. Piano belt, why does that, seems like somebody was famous for wearing a piano belt. Who was it guys, I'm, I'm forgetting. Oh cool, blonde mustache wax. Oh wow, that's a classic. Oh, I like that old hires box. It's pretty cool, you can buy those old Cases for Coca-Cola bottles and Pepsi bottles and use them for displays. If you're in the market for buying swords, you have to ask for assistance. What an ashtray. You know, my question is, where do you put the cigarette? Well, that's kind of a cool old toy. And that guy is only $16. They're calling it an Oliver Hardy figure. That's kind of crazy. I can't believe I'm seeing that. I might actually buy that. That is a, they titled it, It's All In Fun Glass. That's Jack Oakey. Oh, look at that old Jack in the Box. The Donald Duck. It's wooden. Wow, 160 bucks. Oh, it's a collectible plate of Elvis being kissed by his mom. There he is in front of Graceland. All right, we've explored the Woolworths. Five and Dime Antique Mall. Now let's check out the merry-go-round. For a place called the merry-go-round antique mall, you hope they have a theme. Right away I noticed they have a ticket box office before you walk in. There you can see her inside there. Well, I dig it already. I'm loving it already. Walked in and saw E.T. right above the register. E.T. ring me up. Wow, this place is amazing. This is my first time here. We definitely have a theme going on here. Oh, nice. Signed picture of Paulette Goddard. Cool masks. Miami Dolphins lampshade. It's a nice one too. Aunt B's kitchen. And there's a Ken doll case. That is Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> His shirt says, I love my Hummer. That's cool. It's a Campbell soup crock pot. Never seen that before. Right next to a Babe Ruth beer stein. Oh, I would love to have those. They're just a little too pricey. There's an Oliver Hardy bookend and a Stan Laurel bookend, but they're 125 a piece. We're gonna go ahead and go downstairs now. The downstairs is a lot more bigger items, home furnishing type stuff. I'm looking more for knickknacks. 
Oh, Hocus Pocus shirt. It's kind of strange to look behind these paintings and see all the mining helmets. That's a great James Dean poster for sure, but 65 bucks. Probably worth it, to be honest. Framed and everything, probably worth it. Oh, well that explains why we have mining helmets. We have a mine over here. That was a nice touch for this place. Kind of digging this frog table right here. That is a made right washboard. Never seen a Masonic diploma. Mother's Pride Cola. I don't think I'm gonna need anything in that area. That all looks more like outside furnishings to me. And I really don't have anywhere to put that. That's interesting. A Mount Rushmore Decatur. That looks like a Humphrey Bogart. Never seen that either. Humphrey Bogart doll. For sure who that is. Holy cow, do you see what I see? A giant framed picture of Shelley Winters. I might have to see if I can buy that. Unfortunately, nope. Up here on this little sticker, it says not for sale. Yeah, it's crazy. They have all kinds of pictures now that I'm Wandering through, I'm seeing a lot more celebrity photos and everything on the walls. Like they decorate it like an old theater. You've got the old peanuts and concession stand stuff here, including a popcorn machine and the ticket booth. With ticket taker! And Rock Hudson. And then I just noticed right here in this space between the concession stand and the ticket taker, they actually have a little theater in here with people. <laughs> well, that's not a bad painting. Pretty good job on that one. Who needs a gigantic Hershey's Kiss? Anyone? Any takers? I just walked around a corner and found this mural on the wall. Isn't that great? And they still have more stuff in here. Man. This place is huge. Oh my gosh, look at this amazing cookie jar back here. The Three Stooges. That's pretty cool. They have a picture signed by Jimmy Chitwood and Buddy. Here we have another Spock. Authentic signed picture by Ernie Shavers. Muhammad Ali. I'm kind of buying this though. This piqued my interest. Well now over here they have Vinnie Barbarino also for only $15. You can actually save some money by only buying half of them. And don't worry, I did check. The wooden Telly Savalas up here is also not for sale. Who loves you, baby? Okay, I might have just spoke too soon. I might buy this. This is $39 and it's signed by Tex Ritter with a personal message. Check it out. It says, to my friend, Rosella Heron, trust your hand gets along fine. Best of luck, Tex Ritter, 1954. That's pretty cool. You don't find those for $39 very often. Wow, this section's great too. All kinds of great classic records. Poster of Dennis Eckersley. Big cardboard cutout of Babe Ruth. And Thriller on Picture Disc. And look at that Marilyn Monroe. That's $25. $20 for Thriller on Picture Disc. I might have to do it. I might get this too. All of a sudden now I'm finding all kinds of stuff I want. This is Merle Haggard, My Farewell to Elvis. From Graceland to the Promised Land. And if you're in Bakersfield, you can't come to Bakersfield and not think of Buck Owens. He put Bakersfield music on the map. Down here they have a collection of professional style bats, including a Mickey Mantle Louisville Slugger. Wow, take a look at these. Little minor league Dodger books. That's Mike Piazza. I was thinking I was gonna get this for $25, but I think I'm gonna pass. I think for sure I'm gonna get the uh, Tex Ritter though. I like that the Tex Ritter one is personalized, plus I liked that I saw in the corner it said that this was sold only on tour. Well, I think we've done 
all the antique shopping we're gonna do for the day. All right, time to pay. Hopefully they don't hit that high voltage control panel. Can you come down here and ring me up please, sir? Or UET, can you ring me up? All right, my friends, we're gonna call it a day. I wanna thank Philip Smith for becoming my newest Patreon. And if you love antique malls, there's a bunch of them in just a few blocks of here. So you can hit a lot of them all in one day. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great night and goodbye.